Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well. Let's take a challenge from Hack the Box today. And I am going to choose a challenge under a crypto category. It's a retired challenge. I am choosing that challenge because the challenge has been retired this week only. So that's why I am choosing. And the challenge name is Nuclear Sale. You can see the difficulty here. Many people rated this difficulty as a piece of cake. Very easy and easy. So it's an easy level challenge. If you know cryptography, if you have some familiarity, if you are a newbie, then you might be facing some difficulty, then it could be a medium level challenge to you. All right. So I can see only the downloadable file in this challenge. And uh, let's read the challenge description before downloading the file. Plutonium Labs is a private laboratory experimenting with plutonium products. A huge sale is going to take place and our intelligence agency is interested in learning more about it. We have managed to intercept the traffic of their mail server. Can you find anything interesting? So from this description, we can understand one thing. We are going to analyze a network traffic and the traffic is containing some mail conversations and the conversation is uh, seemingly about uh, a plutonium product sale. Okay, now let's download this file. And he, here you can see the SHA-256 hash to verify the authenticity of the file. So it's a zip document and here is the password. So let me unzip this one. I created a separate folder and I downloaded the file into that folder. I am unzipping it. And it is asking the password. All right, you can see the file that, is, that was bundled. The file name is challenge pcap. So let me open this file with Wireshark. And yeah, we have opened the file. So every time when I open a file with Wireshark, I do see the statistics here. I can see, I mean, I see the file properties. So let's see that. So here is the file name and its size. And you can see the captured, the duration. So it elapsed for 24 seconds and you can see the number of packets present in this capture only 84 packets so it's a small packet capture file so let me see another field here in statistics protocol hierarchy so this will be giving you an insight about that packet capture so what protocols are present in that capture so let's see here uh, ethernet layer 1 uh, ipv4 so ethernet layer 2 ipv4 layer 3 tcp layer 4 and smtp and internet message format so looks like uh, this capture only carries the in, uh, email messages all right now you can see this one internet message format they simply call it as imf so since it contains some uh, email conversation we need to export the, the, those files uh, separately either you can do that or you can simply trace the tcp so that this is up to you so if you need to export the file from the Wireshark capture, you can simply go to the option file, export objects, and here you may see IMF. IMF is the internet message format. So if you click this, it will show all the email conversation present in this capture. So it looks like there are uh, seven emails in this capture. And uh, I can also see that uh, those emails with the, by, by tracing the TCP. So let me do that simply. So I am right clicking by choosing one packet and I'm following the TCP stream and look at this it is showing the uh, decrypted text which is human readable and uh, I can see the stream number here so it shows the stream 0 so it begins with 0 I can simply change the stream here so when I change the stream uh, the conversation we can see the every conversation involved and when I keep the cursor over this, I can see it contains totally seven streams. So let me switch to other streams. So we got that entire email conversation here. So in order to see the email in order, I am uh, choosing this one, this uh, TCP tracing. So let's see what we have here. So here is the email conversation, the email from the sales at plutonium lab and the recipient is management at plutonium.lab. So the sales department is sending an email to the management and the subject is potential buyer are we sure we can deliver. Hello everyone, a potential buyer approached us asking a huge amount of plutonium 
आर वी इवन अलाउड टू सेल दिस मच तो सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट इज एस्किंग द मैनेजमेंट अबाउट या प्लूटोनियम सेल नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी नेक्स्ट स्ट्रीम फॉर दैट द मैनेजमेंट रिस्पॉन्स टू दी सेल्स टीम वी आर वेरी एक्सोरी बट मैनेजमेंट डज नॉट अप्रूव सच ए सेल इट मे डैमेज आवर बिजनेस हु इज द बायर एंड दे आर ऑल्सो एस्किंग द क्वेश्चन हियर वेल हियर इज द हिंट वी आर वेरी एक्सोरी सो एक्सोर मीन्स इट्स अ एक्सोर चाइपर सो दे आर डिनोटिंग द एक्सोर चाइपर एक्सोर क्रिप्टोग्राफी सो दट्स वॉट दे आर डिनोटिंग हियर सो इट्स अ हिंट सो लेट मी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्ट्रीम and uh, for that the sales is again responding to management he is the high profile individual his information is encrypted below so here i can see the encrypted string looks like uh, a hash value but it is not the hash uh, actually it is an encrypted value we need to decrypt this well moving to the next stream the stream 3 i mean the fourth stream it shows a mail that sent by the management to the sales department back here is the chipper text encrypted with r key so here is the hint the chipper text that is encrypted with r key so this is nothing but a chipper text that is encrypted with a specific key we haven't seen the key before but simply they gave the chipper text moving to the next stream and uh, again the sales department is sending mail to the management and it contains encrypting again with r key so here is another chipper text so looks like they are using only one key by using that key they are they are encrypting uh, uh, certain data so i am just going to the previous stream you can see the first chipper text they gave with our key they mentioned so it denotes their secret key and here again they are mentioning that key and another chipper text so two different chipper text mentioned in that before uh, in the in the second stream they mentioned another chipper text actually they encrypted the high profile individual name in this chipper text so this is the chipper text that contains that high profile individual name so there are three type of uh, chipper text in this conversation that's what we understand all right moving to the next one sixth stream stream number 5 uh, management is responding to sales department oh my this changes everything we cannot refuse selling to this guy he can literally destroy us move the process so they are giving the consent to for the for the nuclear sale all right let's let me see the last stream um, okay for that the sales department is uh, acknowledging all right we will process the order thanks and that's what the conversation now we got a uh, couple of encrypted chippers so we are going to find a way to decipher to decrypt that uh, chipper text then we will be getting the flag hopefully let's see that but we don't have the key first of all before decrypting it we need to understand more about the xor so let's google a uh, few things about the xor xor chipper and here is a blog from geeks for geeks and also a wikipedia page so let me open both first let me go through this wikipedia page so the xor chipper in cryptography the simple xor chipper is a type of additive chipper an encryption algorithm that operates adding to the principals now look at this you you might have heard this xor operation so in in binary uh, the xor operation uh, it, it's a simple one so when you are adding uh, i mean when you are having this plain text zero and the key zero you will get the chipper text as zero the plain text zero key one then it you will be getting the chipper text one if it is if the plain text is one and the key is zero then you will get the chipper text as one well if both the text and key are same then you will be getting zero as outcome so this is the concept of that uh, xor chipper so this is just a fundamental thing but uh, you can see the other operations uh, in xor here if you are uh, xoring with zero you will be getting that same text as an outcome if you are xoring with the same value then you will be getting zero so that's what they gave again and you can see some other uh, uh, operations here well 
now you need to learn one thing you need to understand one thing in uh, xor chaper i think we have uh, learned we got to know about uh, two encrypted chapers the two chapers encrypted with the same key right first of all let's get that so here is the first one and the second one the second one they say the chaper text encrypted with our key so we got one key now so let me put it in a notepad and uh, moving to the next one even this chaper text is encrypted with the same key well now let me uh, uncover the trick behind this if i am encrypting a text a with xor value b let's say it gives the value c as chaper text in another case if i am encrypting a text c the xor encryption with a key b i am getting outcome the chaper text as a so now you can see both of these operations the b denotes the key because the key is same in both operations so that's what we got to know from the line mentioned here so they are using the same key to encrypt both the text but that the texts are different right it is also giving different type of text and there is a third operation when you manage to xor both the chaper text you will be getting b as outcome we got the chaper text a and c two different chaper text that used i mean that was encrypted using the same key right so we are using that chaper text we are xoring those chaper text and it will be giving the key as an outcome so from this what we can understand when we try to xor both this chaper text we will be getting the key as an outcome so once we obtain the key we will be able to retrieve the value of another chaper text the chaper text given in stream 2 i suppose this one he is a high profile individual his information is encrypted below so we don't know this key right and we can retrieve that key by simply xoring both the chaper text because both the chaper text use the same key right so by using that key we will be able to decrypt de chaper this also so that is the concept and uh, it can be done by using uh, python or it can be done using uh, various other languages i'm going to use python for this because i'm familiar with that that's why i'm choosing it before uh, i start creating the python program that uh, decrypts the chaper i wish to say one thing you need to understand the format here so this one is nothing but the hexadecimal format so you can see the hexadecimal uh, the bytes uh, in the hexadecimal format now you need to convert it to bytes before you start uh, uh, you know doing that decryption so let me explain that first of all i am going to use a python library called binasky let's learn about that library binasky so that i can show all the available methods uh, in that binasky binasky python library so it will be giving you the documentation so by using this library we can do the conversion between binary and the ascii so the ascii is the human readable form binary is the machine readable form so this library is used to convert between that and uh, you can see bunch of uh, methods available and here is the method hexly5 uh, let's see what this method does hexly5 here is the definition return the hexadecimal representation of the binary data so it takes the input binary and giving the hexadecimal form but we need to we need the hex, uh, the opposite method uh to hexify because we do have the hexadecimal form now all we need is to get the binary data out of it right so for that uh, i am going to use the opposite method of hexify called unhexify because it returns the binary data from the hexadecimal well that's what we are going to use uh, so i'm 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 importing that specific uh, method alone so from binasky i am importing uh 
unxli file. So I'm saving this document to get the syntax highlighted. So let me decryptor dot py. I'm naming this document. Now the syntax is highlighted unhexly file. Fine. We only need this library for this. I got uh, both these uh, chiper text. Let me get uh, one more chiper text. So this is that chiper text. So I got all the three chiper text. Now I am going to give a name for this. This chiper text denotes the high profile individual name. So I am simply giving like HP name and uh, I am putting it inside the single quote and I am going to unhexlify this chiper value. So before we are doing that decryption, we are going to convert it to that uh, binary format. So that's what. So let me put it inside the unhexlify function. Uh, this looks fine. I need to remove one bracket here. Perfect. Now similarly, I am going to do for the rest. All right. Now I added all the chiper text inside the unexlify method. I am if I print this uh, outcome, I'll be getting the byte format. So let me show this here. I think uh, I should comment it out. All right. Now if I see, look at this one. So it is in byte format. So it is in the binary format. So we are going to use this binary format while decrypting. We are not going to use this raw hexadecimal format while decrypting it won't work so that's why well okay now we got this we got this uh, unhexlified bytes of all three chiper text now we are getting into the decryption process so it is very simple nothing uh, difficult and here for for this i am using the for statement for i comma j so i am mentioning for statement here in uh, i am going to use a method called enumerate and within the enumerate I am calling one of these chiper 1 or chiper 2. So let me take chiper 1 and uh, here I am putting colon and enter. So there is the default indentation which is necessary in Python. And now I am going to put the, the specific line, line of code that is doing the description, decryption for us. Well, let's get into that. Uh, before that, I mentioned this uh, flag, uh, uh, you know, empty string. So this is where we are going to store the flags. And uh, here I am mentioning that flag and I am mentioning this plus equal. So this is going to append that decrypted code, dec decrypted uh, text in this uh, flag variable. So that's what it, it is going to do. Well, we got this. Now we got two iterators here, i and j. So it is going to iterate through this chiper one. I'll explain what are the values will be present in both i and j, uh, whether it contains the iterator or it contains the specific value in that uh, position. So I, I'll explain that in a moment. But before that, I'm putting this bracket and entering that uh, decryption logic. Uh, I'm mentioning uh, J here. So I'll explain why I'm mentioning this. In Python, to perform the XOR operation, you need to use this cap operator because the cap operator is doing the XOR operation in Python. All right. Now, I mentioned the second one, second iterator J here. And in the next one, I am mentioning the chiper that I haven't called here, the chiper 2. I, I already called the chiper 1 here. That's why I am calling chiper 2 here. And within this square bracket, I am adding i, the iterator I am mentioning. So what it is going to do? The iterator, what value it contains? So I'll explain it with simple code block so that you will be getting some uh, understanding. So I'll, I'll comment it out before I am uh, doing this. So let me mention a yeah, simple list here in python i'm going to uh, create a list for a fru fruits so let me mention some fruits here i have created the list here now i am mentioning the for loop i'm creating the iterator as inj in enumerate i am again calling that function that method enumerate and i am calling this specific list within that enumerate function and I am putting colon and entering into the for loop black block and here I am going to type the I am going to print both x and y because we need to learn what will be there in this i and j right so that's what I am going to find so i comma j now let me execute this one 
look at this outcome so it contains the values in two columns the first column contains 0 1 2 and the 0 contains mango 1 contains apple and 2 contains orange so when we use this specific line of for loop it gives both the iterate iterator and also the value present in that specific position of the uh, list so that is the concept here now since we are uh, since we are mentioning j here so it is going to contain the value present in that position and here i am mentioning chiper 2 of i which means in chiper 2 we already unhexified it so it is going to iterate from 0 to until that uh, the last value last iterated value so that is what going to happen in the, in this uh, specific thing so it is going to perform the xor operation between this chiper 1 and chiper 2 simply well now let me remove this one and uh, again enable this and here i am going to get values of the key because i am doing the xor operation between chiper 1 and chiper 2 with this specific line right now we got the key once we got the key we are going to use that key to get the value of real value of this chiper text the name the hp name uh, this is what we have obtained from the stream 2 the high profile individual name so we need to get the secret text of this high profile individual well for that we are going to use the key that we obtained from this chiper 1 and chiper 2 xor operation well i can simply put another cap here and add the hp name of i again so what will happen it will get the key by doing the xor between these two chipers and it will do the xor operation the key the key will be xor with this chiper text and eventually it is going to give the real value of that uh, individual well that individual is nothing but it should be the flag well this is the decryption logic the xor decryption logic for the current scenario but if i simply give print statement if i if i try to print this flag i'll i'll be getting the error i'll explain why so let me print this flag now and i'm getting the error let's see what is the error type error can only concatenate string to string not the integer to string uh, here we are trying to concatenate the integer to the string value here with this quote we are denoting this is an empty string so the data type is string we are going to concatenate i mean we are trying to concatenate it with the string that is why it is not working now we can use another uh, function called chr to convert it to the character code so which will be converting that integer to the string value and now if we try we won't be getting the error we will be getting the flag now let's try that but before that let me show this uh, character uh, thing also i am simply opening the python 3 interpreter and here i am trying to give the chr function within the chr function i am mentioning one specific value and giving enter you can see it is giving a value as key value so let me give another value here uh, for example 89 it gives capital y so that is what so it is converting to as key well now we got this i mean we got this code we prepared it now let me execute this one it will be giving the flag eventually so look at this flag so this is the flag we we was trying to get so let me put it in the submit flag place and it was a easy challenge and uh, that should be our answer yeah so with this we have done doing this uh, nuclear sale exercise uh, hope you have learned this xor encryption if you are a beginner to this cryptography uh, the xor encryption is actually being used uh, in 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 many areas especially the threat actors nowadays started using not started they have been using this xor for a while and they keep using this encryption technique in their uh, uh, malwares to hide the malware to encrypt the data on the victim system they are they are using this so learning cryptography uh, is essential in cyber security 
so it will be giving you some added advantage so this is what i wanted to explain hope you really enjoyed it if you really did hit the like button and consider subscribing my channel if you have any other opinion drop it in the comment section i'll try to respond to your valuable questions um, i'll catch you next time with another exciting one until then i'm signing off cheers and uh, i love you all thank you so much